we're going to spread it around here. The oven should be preheated to bake your cake already, so it should be on 350. And so now we're going to put our coconut out on here, about a half a bag. And we're going to mix it in with our pecans, and we're going to toast it at 350 degrees. But now our oven's still preheated for the cake. Okay, so don't that look yummy, y'all? So mix it up so all the dark and the light are together and they're not all in one little hunk. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a paddle on my mixer. So we're gonna bake that in just a minute. All right, I'm gonna use a French vanilla cake mix. It just happens to be what I got in my pantry. You can use a yellow cake. I prefer to use a white cake. And this French vanilla is fine because it's actually a white layer as well. Um, it's creamy. It's starting to get real creamy, so it looks good. So we a half cup of warm water. So let's do that first. Half cup of warm water. Maybe it'll help us scrape the edges when we need to. And then you're gonna put in a cup of buttermilk. And three eggs. I like to put all my wet in first when I'm doing a cake mix. That's just what I like to do. I know it's weird, but that's how I could. For some, they don't quite understand it. So, now that all that liquid's in there, I'm going to scrape the cream cheese off the edges. And then we're going to, uh, let me get a longer spatula. in the cake mix and you're going to want to beat it so that it's good and creamy because uh, that cream cheese is kind of in little hunks after I put that liquid in there but not too bad it's still soft the warm water helps soften it so we're going to turn this up and we're going to put it on about a medium speed and we're going to beat it a couple of minutes okay It looks really good. So let's put it in here. So you're going to put about half of it in there, okay? Heavenly! Guarantee you one thing, this cake is probably one of the best cakes I make. And yes, you use a cake mix, but boy, do you spruce it up. We have to sign off and sign back on. I'm gonna put these in the oven at 350 degrees. Yummy! And um, I'm gonna put them in here at 350 degrees and cook them until a toothpick comes out clean. This room. Anyway, here's a disposable bag. I'm so loud, y'all probably could. Um, and you put the tip on the end of it, and then you just screw this onto the end. If you're using the same color icing, you can just change them out and do all kind of stuff. But this is a tip. This tip will make like a little rosette. And that's what we're going to do for our border on our cake. Okay. All right. Going to get a spatula and get a little bit of icing. Put it on our board. Look at that layer. Look at all that goodness in that cake. It's full of pecans. 
uh, cream cheese and all that goodness in there and then once I get it iced I'll sit it over there in front of the air as well this is not a whole big batch of icing so don't go overboard and use it all in between your layers okay I like this it's like a spoon spatula so like when I get to this point it's nice to be able to just dip it and you know lay it on top of the cake and when you ice a cake you always always hold your spatula with your pointer on this part angle it down and push into the cake never ever let your spatula go past the icing and get crumbs in the cake okay if you'll watch me ice cakes, just, you know, just watch a bunch of my cake videos, you'll see the technique, and you'll be able to ice them just as fast and pretty as I do. Okay, last layer. Happiest right under our feet. Look at her. She's so scared of the lightning. Poor baby. I can't hold her because I'm showing y'all how to decorate a cake. So, they might move the camera a little bit. Y'all move out of the way, sweeties. Peeties. Sweetie peeties. This is in my way now. Anyway, you take your ice and then you push it over the edge like that. Take your spatula, grab it like that, and continue to do it all the way around. And never go past the icing. And you won't get crumbs in your cake. Now look, y'all have seen me take this cake out of the oven, put it in front of my air conditioner, cool it down quick, and ice it. And I'm still not getting crumbs in it because of the technique that I use when I ice. So, let me show y'all. I guess y'all can hear that storm. I'm going to show y'all how I'm going to fill a bag. Let's see? So, I'm going to just open up this bag. It's got, it's stained from coloring, but it's not going to come off in the icing. We're going to put a border around the very top, and I don't have a lot of icing left, so we ain't going to get a big border, that's for sure. The best way to do it is not to have it on a cake stand. It's so funny. I see these people making cakes on these cutesy videos. And they actually take their cake and they keep it on the stand like this. And then they pick up their coconut and they bring it over to the cake. That is crazy. Just pick up the cake, hold it like this. When you're doing fresh coconut, do the same thing. Hold it over a bowl or a big sheet pan like this and, and go to town. Don't take as long, and then you don't have near the mess to clean up. Okay. So we're going to take this is a rosette tip, and we're going to make little rosettes all the way on the edges. Does that look good or what? <laughs> Yummy. Yeah, 